Good afternoon. This is All India Radio and I am Valsa Williams with the Midday News. The headlines. Government reviews preparedness for containing spread of novel coronavirus. RBI Governor Shakti Kanta Das assures that all steps will be taken to secure the economy against the challenges arising from the crisis. Both Houses of Parliament adjourned for holy break till the 11th of March. Chief Economic Advisor says all options are under consideration for restructuring Yes Bank and money of depositors is safe. Several states of northern region experience heavy rain along with hailstorm, causing widespread damage to crops. One more suspected case of coronavirus has tested positive, taking the toll to 31 in the country. Giving this information, Special Secretary of Health and Family Welfare Ministry Sanjeeva Kumar said in New Delhi today, the patient who has been quarantined in a hospital is stable now. He informed that the patient has a travel history from Thailand and Malaysia. The patient is in hospital quarantine and stable. Thus, there are now 31 confirmed cases in the country. This includes 16 Italian nationals. Adequate screening measures have been set up. Mr. Kumar said all international passengers are mandated to go for the universal screening at the airports. Nine more airports have been added for this purpose, and now universal screening will be done at 30 airports in the country. Mr. Kumar said Health Minister Dr. Harshwardhan visited Indira Gandhi International Airport last night to review the preparedness for universal screening. The minister also held a meeting with the owners of hospitals situated in Delhi NCR. The Special Secretary said several issues like provision of bed capacities in the hospitals for infected cases, isolation wards, protocol for sample collections and others were discussed at length during the meeting. He said the national level training on COVID-19 was shared today by the Health Secretary, Ms. Preeti Sudhan, and it was attended by health officials from all states, hospitals, railways, defence and paramilitary forces. Reserve Bank Governor Shakti Kanta Das has assured that the central bank will take every measure needed to secure the economy against the challenges arising from the coronavirus epidemic. He was addressing an industry event in Mumbai today. He expressed confidence that the impact on India will be limited as the country's economy is not much integrated with the global value chain and to that extent it will be insulated that the Reserve Bank stands ready to intervene in whatever way is required to deal with the challenges emerging out of uh, coronavirus. Let me assure you that the Indian banking sector continues to be sound and safe and the challenge that is ahead of us, the RBI is uh, ready to deal with it very effectively and we stand committed to maintain the stability of the financial and banking sector in India, its uppermost responsibility of Reserve Bank as the central bank of the country. While noting that there are enough resources to fight the crisis given the robust forex reserves, Mr. Das also called for the International Monetary Fund to launch a non-stigmatized currency swap lines to ease the liquidity pressures globally. On the domestic sector, he said certain sectors which depend on China will be impacted due to the epidemic, but steps are being taken for its mitigation. He said there will be considerable impact on the global economy and global growth is bound to slow down. World Health Organization has urged governments across the globe to step up their fight against coronavirus COVID-19. WHO Chief Tedros Adhanom Ghebreyesus said that it is high time to act strongly towards containing the outbreak as it is spreading 17 times faster outside China. He also pointed out that several nations are not taking requisite measures to contain the virus. COVID-19 has claimed over 3,300 lives and infected more than 98,000 people the world over. United States President Donald Trump is expected to sign an $8.3 billion measure to help tackle the coronavirus outbreak. The legislation would provide federal public health agencies money for vaccines, tests and potential treatments and help state and local governments prepare for and respond to the threat. 
The Senate passed the measure yesterday to help tackle the outbreak in hopes of reassuring a fearful public and accelerating the government's response to the virus. Its rapid spread is threatening to upend everyday life in the U.S. and across the globe. Chief Economic Advisor Krishnamurti Subramanian has said that all options are under consideration for restructuring Yes Bank and assured that depositors' money is safe. Talking to reporters in New Delhi today, he said the government and the RBI are working together for the best possible solution. Mr. Subramanian said the RBI has taken the right steps. He said the interest of Yes Bank customers will be protected. एक मूव किया गया है जिससे कि डिपॉजिटर्स के जो डिपॉजिट्स हैं वो सेफ रहें और रिजर्व बैंक ने साफ साफ कहा है इसके बारे में कि डिपॉजिटर्स के डिपॉजिट सेफ रहेंगे ये आश्वस्त करना चाहता हूं सबको डर की कोई जरूरत नहीं Defending the timing of Yes Bank's moratorium, RBI Governor Shakti Kanta Das has assured swift resolution of the issues concerning the beleaguered lender. He said the decision on Yes Bank was taken at a larger level not only to deal with the problem as an individual entity, but also to maintain stability and resilience of the Indian financial and banking sector. Mr. Das also said the central bank is resolved to work in close coordination and made it clear that Yes Bank resolution will be done very swiftly, much before the stipulated 30 days time. Both houses of parliament have been adjourned till the 11th of March for the holy break. The Rajya Sabha was adjourned for the fifth consecutive day today following noisy scenes by the opposition demanding immediate discussion on the Delhi violence. Chairman M. Venkaya Naidu adjourned the House within minutes after it met at 11 a.m. Some of the opposition members raised slogans before trooping into the well of the House. Responding to this, the Chairman warned that he will be compelled to name the members raising slogans and said the slogans are unparliamentary and shameful. Some of the opposition members from the Congress, DMK, TMC and left parties raised slogans in the well of the House. Chairman Venkaya Naidu requested the opposition to return to their seats, but they did not. The Lok Sabha was adjourned after the House passed two bills without discussion amid noisy scenes. The bills are Aircraft Amendment Bill 2020 and the Insolvency and Bankruptcy Code Second Amendment Bill 2019. Earlier, as soon as the House met for the day, opposition members from the Congress, DMK, TMC and left parties raised slogans in the well of the House. Presiding Officer Kirit Premji Bhai Solanki made repeated appeals to the agitating members to return to their seats. However, the members continued to raise slogans forcing the chair to adjourn the House first till noon and then till the 11th of March. The notification for the biennial Rajya Sabha elections has been issued today. The election for 55 seats of Rajya Sabha from 17 states will be held on the 26th of this month. Nominations can be filed to the 13th and scrutiny of nominations will be done on the 16th. The last date for withdrawal of candidatures is the 18th of this month. Counting will be held on the same day an hour after the conclusion of polls. This is All India Radio giving you the news. For quick news updates, visit our News on AIR app and follow us on Twitter at AIR News Alerts. You can also visit our website www.newsonair.com. Aaj ka Bharat janta hai ki jab desh ki beti khadi hoti hai, tabhi ki badi hoti hai. Jeet badi. Aaj teen talaq ke khauf se be khauf khadi hai beti hum. कितनी मुश्किल से अकेले पाला मैंने इसे पर मेरी बेटी को ये डर नहीं तीन तलाक से आजादी कबूल है देश की रक्षा की कमान लिए सबसे आगे खड़ी है बेटियां अब हम भी पूछ सकते हैं मुद्रा योजना से देश की प्रगति को नई रफ्तार दे रही है बेटियां लोगों ने पूछा दुकान खुल गई तेरी मैंने कहा नहीं दुकान खुल गए हैं मेरे आठ करोड़ गैस कनेक्शन, ग्यारह करोड़ शौचालय और मुद्रा योजना से पंद्रह करोड़ महिलाओं को लाभ। भारत सरकार के ऐसे कई कदमों से ये साबित हो रहा है कि जब देश की बेटी खड़ी होती है, तभी जीत बड़ी होती है। हर एक काम देश के नाम, भारत सरकार द्वारा जनहित में जारी। 
International Women's Day will be celebrated on the 8th of this month. In the run-up to this occasion, we are highlighting exemplary performances, struggles and key contribution of women from across the country. Our ISOL correspondent has filed this report on women achievers in organic farming in Mizoram. In Mizoram, many women are presently engaged in various sorts of economic activities like horticulture, floriculture and also organic farming. With these occupations, they are becoming self-reliant, serving families and also contribute to the state's economy. The state is promoting organic farming. Following this, many farmers like Mrs. Lel Chanpui are now reaping success with higher yields and income from organic farming. Sharing her experience, Mrs. Lel Chanpui said, Mizoram is preparing to become an organic state in the near future. Currently, I am planting mustard leaves through organic farming. My farm is about 10 acres and I yield around 500 kgs of mustard per year. I get a minimum of at least 1.5 lakhs per year from my farm. Organic farming is sustainable and healthy without any fertility. Under the Mission Organic Value Chain Development for Northeast Region, the state has given maximum focus on cultivation of organic tea, turmeric, ginger and miso chili. Irene, AIR News, Aizol. Tribal Affairs Minister Arjun Munda has said that several steps have been taken for the education and welfare of tribal women. In an exclusive interview to All India Radio, Mr. Munda said, several skill development programs are being organized for tribal women. The full interview of Mr. Arjun Munda can be heard at 9.15 p.m. in our current affairs program Spotlight on FM Gold. Raju Sabha Chairman M. Venkaya Naidu has said that India has a rich and vibrant history of honoring and respecting women and acknowledging their invaluable contribution to social development, making a reference in the House to the celebration of International Women's Day on the 8th of March. Mr. Naidu said women have been playing a significant role in economic and public affairs since ancient times. He said, Women's Day is a day to celebrate the social, economic, cultural and political achievements of women throughout the world. Information Commissioner Bimal Julka was appointed as the Chief Information Commissioner CIC today. President Ramnath Kovind administered the oath of office to Bimal Julka as CIC in a ceremony held at Rashtrapati Bhavan. Several states of northern region experienced heavy rain along with hailstorms since yesterday causing widespread damage to crops. In Uttar Pradesh, heavy rain accompanied with hailstorm lashed many parts of the state causing widespread damage to crops. In Rajasthan, rabi crops have been badly damaged due to rain and hailstorm yesterday in several districts. In Gujarat, several parts of the state have received unseasonal rain with thunderstorm during the last 24 hours. Many parts of Saurashtra and Kutch region also reported unseasonal rain. According to sources, this untimely rain is likely to damage the standing crops of wheat, cumin and gram. Parts of Himachal Pradesh, including state capital Shimla, are experiencing rainfall since morning. The higher reaches of tribal district Lahore Spiti received light snowfall. As a result, snow clearing work on Manali Leh National Highway has been interrupted at Rotang Pass, where the department has issued the warning of heavy rain with thunder showers accompanied by hailstorm for the plains, low hills and middle hills today. At the stock market, the Sensex of the Bombay Stock Exchange crashed 912 points to trade at 37,558 a short while ago. The Nifty at the National Stock Exchange tumbled 288 points to 10,981. At the Forex market, the rupee slumped 30 paise to 73 rupees 65 paise against the dollar in afternoon deals. And now before we end the bulletin, the headlines once again. Government reviews preparedness for containing spread of novel coronavirus. RBI Governor Shakti Das assures that all steps will be taken to secure the economy against the challenges arising from the crisis. Both Houses of Parliament adjourned for holy break till the 11th of March. Chief Economic Advisor says all options are under consideration for restructuring Yes Bank and money of depositors is safe. 
and several states of northern region experienced heavy rain along with hailstorm, causing widespread damage to crops. And with that, we end the midday news.